of fees or the back down on the shark pole and the ending of night trains at the state, where we are fighting, we are winning. Now, Ab Abbott's mentioned an early election and I say bring it on. But would kicking the Liberals out be enough? Right now, we have no guarantee that the attacks they've made will be reversed. I'd argue that we need a new kind of politics, one that asserts the politics of the 99%. Well, develop, developments in other parts of the world are showing that we're living in a time where we can look at building a real alternative. We need to see ourselves as the front line of the anti-neoliberal offensive that is sweeping the globe. Witness the victory of the anti-austerity party Syriza in Greece in January of this year. This party, in its first early days in office, raised the minimum wage, reconnected electricity to 300,000 poor households, cut off for non-payment of bills, it re-employed sacked public servants and stopped a number of impending privatisations. We're seeing a similar initiative in Spain, in Podemos. And in an island, a call has gone out from leading trade unionists to left groups and parties uh, for a new anti-austerity force. Well, those of us on the streets need to form the embryo of the sort of political force that can pose a real challenge to the no-choice political environment that we know. We need to band together unions and community organisations, Aboriginal communities facing closure, students fighting for free education, women fighting closure of shelters, people with disability fighting for equality and justice. Together we can be an unassailable force. Together we can win. Yeah. Thank you.